I'm in the middle of a M41 rebuild for this Volvo Amazon. This is Genevieve, 1967. But she's got the B20 with the J-type overdrive on that M41. There are five major bearings, and I just want to do a quick overview on what those are and the part numbers, because the actual rebuild video that I'm putting together is about a year away from being published, since I've got a ton of other stuff on the other Volvo to put out first. So these five bearings are part numbered, each one. I uh, will start with this little guy, which is 111013, that goes in the back tail shaft of the overdrive. It actually was very easy for me to remove once I popped the seal out. I could just use a very light tapping on that, which was great. Sometimes you really have to pull them or press them out. The next one, uh, this is a large bearing 380693. This guy goes here inside the clutch, uh, I don't know what you call it, clutch cone for the overdrive that attaches to this metal gear, which is really the middle of this. And that part number, 380693, is for this wide bearing that has, um, it's narrow, it's wide, and really when you're, um, I'm not sure exactly how you can determine which bearing is failing based on what part of the engagement noise, but I would guess if any, it, it might just be always noisy, or it might just be noisy once the overdrive is engaged or possibly disengaged. Um, next up, we've got this one. This is the output shaft of the gearbox itself. This bearing, 11024 and that is a uh, hard to find right now for me but uh it'll it'll be here in a couple days or weeks and then i can put that back together but really that is this piece here you can see the outline of the shaft and that keeps the uh, intermediate shaft for the counter shaft uh, too many shafts but basically the the steel bar that goes through here one of these guys um, that's held in place by this metal piece here there are tiny roller bearings in here and here. I think I counted 21. I'm not sure. Sometimes I thought it was 24, other times um, more or less, but these are very small roller bearings like that. And I believe they're the same from the M40 to the M41. You can see one of them is broken and we'll get to that when the video is put out later. 11145, that is on the input shaft of the transmission. So this is the part that goes into your clutch. And then that very first bearing, 11145, Inside of there are some roller bearings. You can count those. I think it's 14, maybe, we'll see. Um, this is not a broken tooth, that's actually how it was designed to have um, either side missing there. But anyway, that's a really nice bearing to have, and that one does get pulled out and pressed in as well. It was a little difficult. This one was also a little difficult, 131092. That is the output shaft on the transmission. So inside of here are that's our unidirectional clutch inside. Be very careful if you have to remove that. You shouldn't for this bearing install. You just do it all from the back. But that is a very finicky piece, I'll, I'll say. I'm, I was dreading having to do it, and I'm glad I didn't need to. Um, but 131092 is the bearing for the back side, and of course the sun gears do go inside that large, I guess, planet gear you'd call it, or is these, these are the planet gears, that's the sun gear. It's irrelevant. I think that's everything. 11145 uh, is this guy here. Am I counting five? So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Great. All right. Hope that helps somebody out there. And I'll just keep working on this thing and trying to get it all back together. But yeah, she's getting real close. And we have another slow rolling coming up, maybe. We'll see. Dates are set, activities, TBD, but I'm looking forward to that. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.